Hi guys, we're still in chapter 4, which is Introduction to Organic Chemistry. Now, we are going to focus on subtopic 4.3, Isomerism. So, let's start! So guys, what is Isomerism? So, Isomerism is the existence of chemical compounds that have same molecular formula but different molecular structure. So, I repeat here, same molecular formula but different molecular structure. Okay? So, we have two types of isomerism. The first one, we have structural or constitutional isomerism. The second one, we have stereoisomerism. For structural isomerism, it's due to different in connectivity. How? Later, I will discuss more about this part. For stereoisomerism, it refers to the same connectivity but different arrangement in space. So guys, after this, we are going to discuss it more about structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. Stay tuned guys! Now, we focus to structural isomerism first. We have three types of structural isomerism. The first one, we have chain isomer. What is chain isomer? Chain isomer due to the difference in carbon skeletal. So after this, I will show you how to write the chain isomer. The second one, we have positional isomer. What is positional isomer? Positional isomer is molecule that have same molecular formula but different position of functional group. Before this, you already learned about functional group. So, I want to highlight here for positional isomer, it must different position of functional group. And the third one, we have functional group isomer. For functional group isomer, molecule that have same molecular formula, see, same molecular formula, but different functional group. Means, from one functional group, change to other functional group. So, later, I will discuss more about these three types of structural isomerism. Now, we are going to look at chain isomer. Just now, you already know about chain isomer, which is Chain isomer must have different in carbon skeleton. So now we look at this example first. Here we have pantene. So later in chapter 5, you will learn how to name the compound. So for pantene, it consists of 5 carbon and 12 hydrogen. See? So this is the structural of Pentane. If we draw the structure of pentane, so here I draw it in expanded structure. So, how to make it as chain isomer like neopentane? So, what we need to do, we need to exchange the position of carbon skeleton. So, look here. For example, here in the red circle here, we have CH3 
and we need to move the CH3 into the central carbon here. So at this carbon already consists of four bonds. What we need to do, we need to move one of the hydrogen to this carbon here. So this CH3 will exchange with this hydrogen atom. Same like this red, uh, this blue circle here. Okay, so this CH3 also will change to here, and this hydrogen will exchange to here. So you will get neopentane. But if you calculate the number of carbon and hydrogen, the number of carbon still same. Look here, the number of carbon still 5 carbon and the total hydrogen here also 12 hydrogen. So this is isomer. So this pairing we call as chain isomer. Understand guys? Okay, now I will show you the other example of chain isomer. You can refer to your lecture note. For example, we have hexane. So hexane, the molecular formula is C6H6. So here, I will draw the structural formula of hexane by using condensed structure. So this is the structural formula of hexane. And then, how to draw the chain isomer for this hexane. So this is the simplest method that you can use in drawing the chain isomer. You use the carbon skeleton like this. So we draw the straight chain carbon. So if you look at the structural formula of hexane, we know that all the carbon here is straight chain carbon. And then what we need to do, we just move one of the carbon here become a branching like this. So from 6 straight chain carbon become only 5 carbon here. And then one of the carbon, we make it as branch. You can put either at carbon number 2 or carbon number 3. For example, I put it at carbon number 3 like this. So, this is chain isomer, but this is not complete yet. What we need to do, we need to draw the hydrogen atom. Don't forget, each carbon atom must consist of four bonds. So, here we need to draw three hydrogen. So, complete your structure with the hydrogen atom. So, make sure all the hydrogen should be 14 hydrogen. So, if you calculate here, all the hydrogen here is 14 hydrogen. Still same. C6, H14. So, if you condense this structure, it will become like this. So, CH3, CH2, CH, and then we have branch here, CH3. CH2, CH3. So this pairing we call as chain isomer. Actually class, if you refer to your lecture note, this hexane will consist of 5 chain isomer. The chain isomer that I draw here is one of that. So you can draw the other 4 chain isomer for hexane. Positional isomer. What is positional isomer, guys? Yes, positional isomer must have different position of functional group. How? Look at this example. We have one chloropentane here become two chloropentane. So what you can see here, the position of functional group here. This is the functional group. See, we have chlorine here, alkyl halide. 
So look at the position of chlorine for the first compound. For the first compound, the position of chlorine at carbon number 1. But the second compound, the position of chlorine at carbon number 2. When you exchange the position, you need to take out one of the hydrogen. So this hydrogen will move here and this chlorine will move here. See? So you need to make sure that carbon consists of four bonds. So this is positional isomer. Understand guys? So I'll show you the other example of positional isomer. So I give you alcohol. For example, we have CH2CH2OH. CH2, so this I write it in condensed structure. So we have one propanol here. So what we need to do guys? Yes, we need to change the position of functional group. What functional group we have here? Hydro C. So OH group here. So I will change it the position at the center. So if you want to change the position, what we need to do? We need to take out one of the hydrogen, change the position here. See? So it will become CH3 CH. One of the hydrogen will move here, CH3. So, OH, we write it like this. So, now, your functional group at position number 2. So, we get it to propanol. See? Functional group isomer. Functional group isomer refer to the same molecular formula but different functional group. So how class? Look at the example here. We have butanone which is the class of compound is ketone. Exchange to butanol which is the class of compound is aldehyde. Look at the functional group here. Ketone, C double bond O, C, C. While aldehyde, C double bond O, H. So, from one class of compound, exchange to the new class of compound. Not all class of compound can make functional group isomer. Only these classes of compound can make the functional group isomer. The first one we have alcohol can exchange to ether or ether change to alcohol. Aldehyde with ketone or ketone change to aldehyde like example here. Alkene and cycloalkane carboxylic acid and ester. So, you need to remember the path of this class of compound. I will show you the other example of functional group isomer. For example, I show you the alcohol and ether. Ethanol consists of Two carbon CH3 CH2 OH. So alcohol must change to ether. So how the functional group of ether? The functional group of ether should be C O C like this. Right class? Okay. Now we write the structure of ether. It must consist of two carbon and six hydrogen, one oxygen. So it should be like this. C H3 O C H3. So this what we call as functional group isomer. 
Look at the number of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So the number of carbon, oxygen and hydrogen still same. So this is isomer class. So now I'll show you the other example, alkene and cycloalkene. Alkene and cycloalkene. For example, we have propene. Uh, it must consist of three carbon class. Okay, three carbon. C H three C H double bond C H two. So this is propene. So from alkene change to cycloalkene. Cycloalkene consists of ring. So if here we have three carbon, cycloalkene also must have three carbon. So like this, cyclo. So you will get it like this triangle. So at this triangle consists of one carbon here, one carbon here, and one carbon here. So we have three carbon. No more double bond here because this is cycloalkene, not cycloalkene. So each carbon bond to two hydrogen atom because one carbon should bond it to four bond. So now look at this alkene and cycloalkene. Alkene here propene consists of three carbon and six hydrogen. And cycloalkene here which is cyclopropane consists of six carbon also not six carbon six hydrogen three carbon see class so the formula still same thank you guys don't forget to answer the formative assessment about this chapter to ensure your attendance for lecture bye guys